Hi, this is Stu Miniman at the Wikibon World Headquarters in Marlboro, Massachusetts, having a CUBE conversation talking about uh, the increase of software-led infrastructure, changing the way IT is uh, consuming uh, what they're doing. Joining me for this segment is uh, Suresh uh, Jasser Saria uh, from the Dell Product Management Team. Uh, Suresh, good to see you again. Thank you, Stuart. All right, uh, so Suresh, two weeks ago we were at Dell World, a lot going on, Michael Dell on stage talking about how uh, the company is now private and all the things that it's going to allow Dell to innovate on. And one of the things that's catching, I know, a lot of people's interest is that Dell, uh, of course, has acquired quite a few companies over the past you know, five plus years and done a lot of its own IP, but it's really stepped up a lot of its partnerships. And the one that I know we're going to dig in today is the, uh, the Dell-Nutanix relationship. You're with the, uh, the Dell XC WebScale uh, appliance solution. Uh, so tell us a little bit, you know, how was the buzz at the show? What feedback have you had in the last couple of weeks uh, since, since that has now a, a, a GA solution? Thank you, Stuart. Uh, the interest in the XC series is very high. Uh, the field uh, is uh, is buzzing with a uh, with lot of a uh, uh, lot of excitement uh, about the product. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we have booked a few orders, uh, and the pipeline is very healthy. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have pipeline in uh, across all the geographies and in in multiple industries and in many use cases. So, uh, what are you hearing about uh, about the product? Yeah, so, so first of all, I mean, we know uh, we've been tracking Nutanix, uh, you know, for the last couple of years. Uh, they've been, had a lot of growth, and good to hear what, uh, what Dell is adding to it. Uh, for, for the first piece is the, the breadth and reach of the, the Dell Salesforce and the channels. So, uh, good to hear that there's activity across the geos. I, I'm, I'm curious, what, what use cases are kind of bubbling to the top? What, what's the, the number, the top things that you're hearing about what people want to use this new type of architecture for? Well, this architecture uh, uh, has uh, had a lot of interest in many use cases, but the one use case where it has been uh, very prevalent has been the VDI. And you know, um, high availability, lower cost, high performance, high capacity, all these things are nowadays prerequisites uh, for getting an entry into, into, the, uh, uh, into the enterprise data center. Uh, however, one thing that this architecture provides that other architectures uh, lack is uh, incremental scalability and the flexibility to move from a very low uh, entry point into a very high scale. And uh, that is what is very important for, the, uh, uh, for, the, for this use case, uh, I think. And uh, we have seen a lot of interest in VDI. Uh, you recently did, a, uh, uh, did some studies on VDI what have, what have you found? Yes, yeah, so Suresh, you brought up some good points that I want to touch on. So first of all, when you think about the enterprise and you think about you know, the reliability and I want to trust this architecture, that was typically something we built in almost a monolithic fashion. Every single component needed to be hardened and then we put the pieces together and had to integrate them and while each solution might have been you know, secure in HA and everything, putting together all the pieces uh, was onerous and we have IT staff spending all their times uh, making a bespoke architecture that they have to constantly tweak um, and what, what Wikibon's been talking about for the last few years has been we, we need new architectures that are really built at a solution standpoint. Converged infrastructure has been a big driver for that and uh, gonna, gonna have them pull up actually a first slide from the research that you mentioned. Uh, and this is what we call really the new stack, uh, which is it's not just about putting pieces together of server and storage, but really the further up the stack we can go, there's exponentially more value that we have. So. VDI was really ripe for uh, dis disruption because before we had to take a whole lot of pieces, put it together, operationally we need to make a lot of changes. Uh, so, you know, really this new architecture fit really well uh, a a as an early adoption uh, for, uh, for, for something like the, the Nutanix-based solutions. Yeah, right, uh, Stu. Uh, you know, Dell has been paying uh, a special attention to uh, application solutions. Uh, and uh, in this uh, product, XCC's product, we have released uh, five specific uh, uh, appliances to address uh, different applications, uh, including VDI, private cloud, server virtualization, uh, big data, uh, as well as uh, other database solutions. Uh, and um, this is where we want to educate uh, our customers that uh, once you have requirements for agility uh, and, uh, and incremental growth, this, uh, this architecture is a, is a very good fit for, uh, for, for your needs. 
Yeah, I sort of should bring up some good points, because it is a different way of buying uh, the architecture now. Um, customers want agility, uh, they look at things like the public cloud and say, I, I want to only you know, buy for what I'm using, be able to use it uh, in incremental fashions. Uh, the old way of doing it was much more monolithic. I would buy a big block, when I get outside of that, I need to buy another big block, I have to build on top of that, I had to you know, tune it and everything on that. Uh, and. You know, we, we think there's you know, huge opportunities for not only from a capital expense, but from an operational expense um, to, to, to make some big savings. Um, you, you know, it's one of those big challenges. I, you've heard for years and years everybody talking about, uh, you know, we, of course, you have to fight for what the budget dollars are, but then from an operational expense, uh, IT spends so much of their budget on just making it work and keeping the lights on. It's usually 70 to 80% and looking for architectures that can really help that environment. So in your research, uh, Stu, um, are there any specific findings that you had uh, that, that talks about uh, uh, operational uh, benefits uh, or um, uh, benefits for, uh, for getting the environment up and running, especially in, in, in solutions-oriented uh, deployment? Yeah, absolutely, Suresh. So we'll pull up a, a, one of the graphics that we have. Uh, the, the full research is available on, on wikibon.org. Um, but we wanted to do something a little bit different here because it, it, it would be easy for us to say, you know, take your, you know, take, not, not to bash on sand too much, but take your sand that you would have bought five years ago and put that against what I could do with this new architecture, and it would be an easy win. It, it, it's going to be cheaper to buy, it's going to be faster to deploy, uh, but one of the big things we've been hearing is, well, why don't I just go to all white box architecture? Won't that be cheaper? I'll take you know, all of the standard IP out, that's what we hear the Googles and Amazons of the world do. Um, so we actually took a white box deployment and stacked that up against the Dell uh, plus Nutanix VDI solution. Mm -hmm. And what we actually found is if you look over a, th a three year uh, time frame, it's actually more than 25% savings on just the CapEx itself, uh, which is a little bit counterintuitive and it's really because you can just buy it all as a single SKU, you, you, you know exactly what you're buying, you don't overbuy, you don't underbuy, it's, it, it's it designed for your environment. And from uh, an operational standpoint, it's six times faster. I mean, this is where we can just have huge savings. We can have our IT staff, uh, you know, focused on places where their ad value uh, get up and running so much faster. Y you look at s the the agility it comes back to, uh, Suresh. You know, you know, from the users, they're saying. Um, I really don't want to have to think about my infrastructure so more. I want to worry about my business. I want to deploy to my users. I don't want to, I want to have much faster time from buying it to deploying it, from going from pilot to going into production, from going to pilot to scaling it out. Uh, and we were even saying just the increments that I can buy, the speed that I can do it is really going to help customers. Uh, and that time to value is one of those new measurements that we look at. Those are great findings, uh, Stu. 25% uh, 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 less expensive per desktop in uh, six times faster to deploy. How could you argue with such a solution? <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, you know, Dell has a lot of solutions. How, how, talk about a little bit, kind of the, the training you guys are doing with the field and the channel. I mean, th th there's got to be that shift. Um, you know, how fast are they kind of, you know, getting that, the idea of, of this technology? Well, as I said uh, earlier, you know, the, the, the interest in this, uh, in this architecture is, uh, is very large. We have, uh, we have been uh, training uh, our uh, field uh, uh, teams uh, uh, around the world. Um, I personally have, uh, have trained uh, almost uh, 600, 700 uh, folks uh, uh, in face-to-face in, in -face training, and uh, uh, th there is huge interest. There is huge interest in this architecture. Yeah, it, it's interesting. Uh, we, we, did a, we did a study at the beginning of this year, uh, put out the market definition and the forecast for what we call server SAN. Uh, some people call it hyperconvergence, really fits under the umbrella uh, that we put. Uh, and it's, it's, it's interesting because uh, at the end of the day, this is really the death of the storage array as a separate silo. So it is a big change. Uh, it is going to take years for this to move, but starting to see, uh, you know, we're past some of the early adopters, uh, starting to see a growing use case uh, people will say, well, it, it doesn't work for everything. Well, you know, that, that's the definition of a disruptive technology is it comes in, you know, cheaper into niche environments uh, and, and grows from there. So, you know, really exciting to watch. I uh, want to give you, a Suresh, kind of last words. Uh, you know, wh wh what do you expect to see from this solution set over the next kind of 6, 12 months that we should be looking back and, and seeing in the future? Well, uh, we hope that uh, this, uh, this architecture finds uh, a, a place in the data center with the uh, 
uh, with, with very agile workloads like VDI and private cloud and server virtualization. And from there, I think uh, uh, this technology has the potential to, to take over major portions of the enterprise data centers. All That's right. what we're expecting. So great, Suresh, really appreciate you coming here to the Wikibon office. Uh, Dell, of course, has locations around the world. It's good to have you here local. I'm sure we'll hear back from you uh, more as this solution grows. And uh, th this is Stu Miniman with CUBE Conversations talking about the disruption as software is continuing to eat the world, uh, cloud, big data, and software-led infrastructure. Thank you for joining us and look for many more uh, research and videos from Wikibon and SiliconAngle.tv.